Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 and another part of this series where we are trying to become the greatest manager of all times uh, and sorry it's a couple of days since the last video I've been extremely busy with my actual full-time job that I do so sometimes it gets in the way of what I really want to do which is make videos for you guys um, but after the last episode, we did end up drawing with Genoa 1-1. Uh, Pietro Bruni got an assist, uh, got a goal after Andrea Pinamonte got the goal for Genoa. So he managed to pull it back level. We did change the time, the, the team around. There was a little bit of uh, game management, I guess, from me. I didn't really want to win that game because now... Uh, we're six games away from the title, so 18 points, but we actually have an 18-point lead. And our next game is against our rivals and the second-place team, Inter Milan, uh, away from home. So anything other than a defeat in that game wins us the title in our stadium, but technically away from home in their stadium. It is beautiful. Um, we also cruised past CSK in Moscow. Uh, we're place it, facing Aberdeen in the semi-final and then it'll be either Eintracht Frankfurt or Athletic Club uh, Bilbao in the final. So what we'll do today is play into Milan and then we'll go ahead probably to the final. Obviously if I lose to Aberdeen then it won't be to the final but hopefully it will be to the final and then we can get this video up uh, and think about whether there's enough time for another season or whether I just play offline until the beta drops and give you an update on where I get to in achieving our goal of becoming the greatest manager of all time. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think down below. But let's jump into this game against Inter Milan. We are obviously the favourites. We're going to play with Macias and Greenwood up top, Venegas and Nelson on the flanks and then Dominguez and Mejbri in the middle with James, Morato, Ford and Cortez in defence. Uh, we are struggling at left back at the moment, Palmonte uh, out injured. So it's a makeshift defence for a big game in the Milan derby. We do need to get a result today, otherwise it will be a little bit uh, humiliating because it will look like we're about to bottle the title. Uh, but going to an Inter Milan team who only qualified for the Conference League um, in Europe last season, well, through the league to get into Europe last season, to take them to title winners in our first season, much like what we did with Spurs, except Spurs actually did qualify for the Champions League the year before. So this is, if anything, an even bigger achievement, especially as it would be their first title for a long time. But Elliot's got in, uh, our former player, Harvey Elliott, got in there. Um, but... AC Milan haven't won a title for about 20, 30 years in game, so it'll be absolutely massive to bring a title uh, to AC Milan, and especially to do it here um, in Inter Milan Stadium uh, slash our stadium. I love that they share a stadium. It's a wonderful thing, uh, and today we're hopefully going to make it an even better thing as far as AC Milan fans go, but we're not quite performing to our best at the moment. We've got a throw in though. These have worked well since we came to Italy. Cortez with the throw puts it in. It's nearly cleared the defender, but Greenwood to Venegas. It's blocked and Nelson's offside. He's offside. It's not going to count. Obviously, a draw is enough. We will win the title with a draw today. So, uh, again, a few of our former players in that Inter Milan team were looking to get 0-1 over. Hakimi away only to Venegas. Now Dominguez, been brilliant this season, finds Meshbri. Dominguez over to Mejbri. Venegas through to Macias. Now Mejbri again outside to Nelson. Blocked off by Vera. Tackle goes in by Nelson. Greenwood's in the middle. It's blocked, but Venegas is there. He's offside again. A second goal. Struck out for offside in this first half. Uh, Macias, the one offside there for some reason. Greenwood here forward to Nelson. Takes it to the right flank. Puts it across. Down to Venegas, and that one is not offside. He finally uh, gets the way of the referee here by making it 1-0 shortly before halftime. His 10th goal of the season, Eric Venegas. Very, very good stuff. Um, and that means that we're on track to get another league title under our belt. Or potentially another piece of silverware with the Europa Conference League as well. So this will be two new trophies and two new medals for the trophy cabinet. Now, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, which you should, I think the link's down below in the description, I have released my FM beta save. There's no major surprises in who it's going to be when that beta does drop, hopefully quite soon. So click that link 
down below to go and follow me on Twitter and see uh, who the new series will be with when this one ends. It is going to be a playthrough series. Uh, it's going to start with the beta, but hopefully carry on throughout. Um, it'll be another enjoyable se series, a bit like this one. I'm hoping for a real empire building series uh, in the new game. Uh, but of course the experiments will return, so if you have suggestions for experiments, do let me know down in the comments. I do read all the comments, uh, even the mean ones, so do let me know down below who you think I should take over um, or who I should, what I should do for experiments and what clubs I should do them with. Uh, but Antonio Jose there getting sent off for Inter Milan, I'm not particularly worried here. I think we're going to get that result to win the title. Cortez with the throw into Zaracho, he puts it across. Oh, chaos on the line, but somehow it has not quite gone over. Five minutes to go, corner from Dominguez. Can he get us a second? He whips it across, it's cleared away. And Martinez should be able to run this one out. I don't know if that's Lautaro Martinez. I'd be surprised. No, it's P. Martinez. But they brought Romelu Lukaku on. He's still playing. And the full-time whistle has gone. And there you go. The red and black ticker tape comes down. We are Serie A champions in our first season with AC Milan. Winning it away from home to Inter Milan with five league games to spare. What an incredible first season um, at AC Milan. That is unbelievable that we've managed to do that absolutely annihilated this league nobody able to keep pace with us with 34 points clear of the champions league places which obviously ac Milan failed to achieve last time i think we were predicted to finish in the top half at the start of this season as well uh, so really impressive stuff now i might just have a look at the old hall of fame here and you'll see that we're still a long way off Sir Alex. I don't know if it's even possible to do it. It's going to take so long to get to that point. We'll have to just see. Maybe I can keep playing offline. But we do potentially have another piece of silverware to go before we get there. Uh, so let's see if we can win the Europa Conference League um, by beating Aberdeen in the semi-finals and then beating whoever we come up against in the final. So I'll see you in a minute for that, hopefully, Europa Conference League final. Well, you'll be happy to know that I accidentally skipped straight into the game uh, for this final against Athletic Club Bilbao. Uh, we did thrash Aberdeen 11-1 on our way to the final. Uh, we also uh, slipped up a little bit towards the end of the league season, but we can review that after this game. Um, for this match, though, which I am expecting us to win quite comfortably, you can see we've got Greenwood and Arezo up top with Macias and Azarkan on the wings. Dominguez and Mejbri in the middle with Balmonte, Morata, uh, Ford, James and Barber in goal. It should be a relatively comfortable match uh, for us this one. We've absolutely dominated this entire competition from start to finish. We lost that one game against the Scottish team, but otherwise it's been total plain sailing. We've set new records for goals uh, along the way as well, but they nearly had a chance there and it's still not gone with Santos in and we've gone behind in the first minute, John Bilbao, playing for Bilbao, has made it 1-0 in the Conference League final. Uh, that's a shot out of nowhere. Absolutely turned up there, Bilbao, with the header. Got the goal. That is a real shock. I was not expecting that to happen. It means we need to recover quickly. Macias with the ball on the left flank puts it in Greenwood back to Arezo. Dominguez out to Balmonte, who's got in the box, and Macias has hit that straight at Laza. Uh, Macias, of course, absolutely lethal in this competition this season, and he's stolen the ball again. He's in behind. It's saved again. Macias doing everything he can to drive us to an equaliser, and that ball in nearly led to a goal, but Ford just heading it over the top of the bar. But we're showing some real intent after going behind early on. Uh, are we about to choke another European final? Santos. Ball wriggles through and that's not far away from the top corner. At the moment, this doesn't look good for us. We're 1-0 down. And yes, we've had chances, but they've had better ones. The ball in from Azero to Greenwood. He's offside, is he? He is indeed offside. VAR ruling that one out when the linesman didn't manage to spot it. But we are showing that we've got what it takes to get back into the game. We just need to actually do it. And Dominguez winning the ball there will help. Nodded on but cut out. Nunez back to Laza in goal. 
Nunez tackled but manages to get it back. Now Bilbao causing damage again. Finds Diaz. It's saved by the keeper but only just. Now Balmonte forward. Barva not looking the most convincing in our goal. And now Diaz with a corner. Santos over the top. Uh, not far away from making it 2-0. We do seem to be a little bit under pressure. We're a goal down and struggling at this point we really need to do something to turn it around we might need to move Masias up front and move a zero uh, either off the pitch or onto the left flank but at the moment we are a goal down in this final I cannot believe that we would enter this tournament and not win it it doesn't matter who we play in the final that just should not happen uh, we are going to move a um, zero out to the left wing and take him off for Venegas to come on Macias moved up front. Balmonte throw into Greenwood. Goes back in. Macias has headed it in, but it's going to be offside. VAR intervening again. Twice VAR have ruled a goal out. Now Balmonte forward from the throw. Goes back to Barba. Dominguez out wide. Comes through the middle for Macias over the top. Greenwood's in behind. He's rounded the keeper, and he has scored his 30th goal of the season. Him and Macias, both in on loan, have both got 30 goals for the season now. Macias there just dinking it over the top. He was onside this time, rounded the keeper, and did manage to get us the equaliser. 30 goals is not a bad return for a couple of lone strikers. Over 60 goals between them, but Bill Bow causing trouble again. Both the player and the club not far away from the inside of that post, but fortunately just goes wide. Throwing now to Bilbao, Santos to Aymar. Zarkan has tackled him, he's charging in behind the Zarkan, and that's a poor effort. He needed to do more with that opportunity. The team, some of them are looking a little bit nervous. It is they're probably their first cup final for a little while. Santos to Almar. Cut out. Now Macias can counter. He plays it out wide, but it's cut up again. Rodriguez now on the attack. Skips one tackle, gets into the box, and has hit that straight at Barber. 20 minutes left for us to try and get a winner. Going to demand a little bit more from the team. Rodriguez in. I don't know how that didn't go in. That must have been a fantastic save from Barber. Rodriguez with the corner. Barber claims it. Going to have to make another couple of changes here. Greenwood seems to be struggling so we're going to need to take him off, bring Lobo on. Balmonte is struggling as well but we don't have another left back so it's going to be Morato coming off. So we don't have a centre back so it's going to be Dominguez coming off the captain for Ruben Neves in his final game because uh, he won't be being signed on a permanent deal but Neves has been instrumental in this competition for us. Corner goes in and it's headed in at Darren Ford with the goal. Venegas with the assist, and we've managed to turn it around in this second half. And Egas with the corner, on off the bench early in the second half, finds Darren Ford, our January signing, who was brought in to try and shore us up in defence. We've got a free kick now as well. Mejbri will take it and find the top corner. And anybody out there thinking that we're at a club who chokes is sorely mistaken. Had this been Spurs, we would have lost this game 1-0. As soon as that goal went in, you knew it would have been curtains. But because this is AC Milan, they know how to win trophies. And we are about to do the double in our first season. League and European uh, trophy double. I won't say European Cup because it's certainly not that. It's not even the Europa League. Uh, it's the Europa Conference League. But it doesn't matter. We're going to get the red and black ticker tape. There it goes. 3-1 we beat Athletic Club Bilbao. Absolutely fantastic stuff. What a comeback from the team. Um, I'm proud of the team. They're looking at me quietly, looking up with admi admiration, uh, and I am very happy. We get two million for winning the Europa Conference League final, um, which is only half as much as we got for winning the entire Italian league. Uh, so the Italian league not covering itself in glory via the finances. We get 22 million from TV coverage. That seems like a lot. For that competition I don't think they're getting that sort of viewing figures I think football manager probably got that one a little bit wrong but it is another trophy for us and if we just have a look at that Hall of Fame again you can see we have jumped up now now that the uh, Italian League and the Conference League have been assigned to us it means we're not that far off from catching Sir Alex now
1,200 points. That's a few seasons at AC Milan to do that. I may well try and do it. Uh, it's going to be tough, though. So I can't guarantee that we'll be able to do it before um, the new game does come out. And if it does come out, obviously, we're going to jump straight onto making content for the new game as well. But if this is the last season, it's been a great one. The subs, uh, sorry, the loans have been absolutely fantastic. Mason Greenwood, 30, 30 goals in 43 games. And Macias just pipping him to the club's top goal scorer with another one to make it 31 in 51. He's played a few more games. £72 million valuation on Greenwood now. Almost certainly not going to be able to sign him. Uh, but other players who've been fantastic. Lobo has done well. He hasn't been consistent. He's been a rotation player, uh, not my player. Venegas has been brilliant coming in on that left flank. He wanted to leave the club when I joined. That's no longer an issue. Uh, Dominguez as well has been unbelievable. The 30-year-old Argentinian uh, signed for 67 million. Um, he's been consistent, to be fair. So maybe you can't knock that. Uh, Darren Ford as well, a very good signing at centre back, 26 and a half million. Won the title in his first season. Reese James uh, winning an Italian league after being here for several years. Good to see the English boys getting some trophies. Uh, Pietro Bruni will be leaving. He came in on loan just to fill the hole really in central midfield uh, and Mejbri as well did well not my signing but has done fantastic eight million pound signing now worth 40 million you'd get an awful lot more for him as well uh, Morato has been all right in central defense when we sold our two best central defenders he stepped up to the plate and has done a good job but there's a huge rebuilding effort I probably won't be able to bring Greenwood and Macias back to the club um, they are on enormous wages some of these loan players uh, but I won't be able to bring them back to the club. So there is a big rebuilding job to do in the summer, especially with a Champions League run to go. But it's been a fantastic first season, a 98-point season finish. Um, end of the season went very well as well. Uh, following the win over Inter, we beat Torino 4-1, Aberdeen 4-1. 0-0 draw with Brescia, 2-2 Fiorentina, 0-0 with Monza, but a 7-0 win here. Macias with 3 and then winning in the final as well. So that is going to be it for this episode and possibly for this series. But do drop a like down below if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for FM 2021 uh, content when it comes out with the beta. But until next time, see ya.